What's up, y'all? Just wanted to do a little bit of a another test video here on the latest creation. Uh, I got a link riser for the rear links, and I'd seen a couple videos where that made a huge difference as far as the. Uh, front suspension unloading on vertical climbs so I figured I'd give it a shot and see if that changed my outcome at all uh, I'm still getting used to what lines this thing actually likes to take because it's completely different than anything else that I've got um, but yeah so rear link riser and then i also took the 1080 out and put the uh, esc 70 in here so it's uh it's worlds better already may not be a whole lot of talking in this one I'm really trying to trying to get this suspension dialed in uh, getting pretty close to a certain deadline coming up here where uh, I really want to have this thing really dialed in and ready to go As of right now, it looks like uh, going to beat the creek this year for the first time. So, pretty damn excited about that. I've I've wanted to go there for a while now, but uh, never really had the chance. Looks like this is going to be the year. So, I really want to have uh, have this new monster up and going and dialed in for all the nonsense down there so this will be the the real test of uh, that link riser um, and if this doesn't do the trick then uh, uh, it's time to go back to the old bungee cord method now I will say that when uh, these axles were on my race um, as much as I did with that thing it still never made this climb either um, so it's gonna be uh, some trial and error to figure out uh, where these wide axles like to like to climb on this thing Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that if you're watching this video, you probably saw the last video where I ran this and the truck didn't even make it like didn't even make all four tires up on the the uh, uh, where am I at? the concrete pillars there before it went completely vertical, unloaded the front suspension, and flipped over backwards. Just the link riser. That's, that's all I did to the suspension on this thing. That is it. And it just crawled that thing every bit as good as the Ecto.
That absolutely blows my mind. I had no idea that uh, just that little bit of link geometry would change performance that much. That's amazing. We'll head on over to the next area over here and see how that does because it was having all kinds of trouble over here as well i believe that it ended up making it uh, but i think that it was unloading pretty bad over here too so much nicer having this ESC 70 in here over that 1080 you can I'm sure that you can tell the difference just in the video without me even having to explain it all worlds better a little far to the right there. If it can clear, clear this route without flipping over, I'll be very, very happy and surprised. Wow. I'm telling y'all, I think, I think I've created a legitimate monster here. This thing is wild in comparison to the other rigs that I have. Uh, I've never really legitimately built a comp rig. Um, I've never done an LCG build. No cheater rigs or belly draggers, nothing of that sort. I've always been a trail truck guy that likes to rock crawl a little bit. And, uh, I'm just kind of dipping my toes in the water here, and this is pretty dang sweet. give this thing a chance to maybe not blow my mind as much as it currently is this little climb right here does not look like much but it is steep and then it gets very off camber a couple different directions up top the, the transition between these wood posts and the tree and getting around that corner is where the challenge lies in this one. Wow. It's sticking to it like a freaking spider. in this truck.
at this point I really don't even have words to describe how thoroughly impressed I am with this thing. I guess there was one other thing I did. I did cut those uh, trailing arm mounts off. But that's just uh, a matter of a uh, little bit more ground clearance, not so much suspension. Also, in the last few days, gotten some more building supplies. Uh, I've got a whole deck worth of wood. I've got another pile of bricks. Um, this slide here isn't actually set yet. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to leave it there or not. I just kind of set it there to keep it out of the way. And then I also got uh, another little plastic slide. Uh, just like the one over there off of the tree. So, building should... Uh, Mints here sometime soon. Like I said, I'm trying to get ready for Beat the Creek here. Uh, so there probably won't be much, if any, building up here uh, until after, after the creek. got intruders these boogers here are the reason they're all that uh, all my trails up to the the bowl of the pit are so beat up 
they'll come trudging up through here after it's rained and just completely change the landscape of the place in some situations it's kind of cool but in other situations like they go up through here and up through here and they end up uh moving all of my rocks that have been carefully placed <laughs> it's uh it's a battle up here in more ways than one that's for sure probably something that most people don't have to deal with on their uh backyard crawler course center going on here. <laughs> Who doesn't enjoy a good tire wrinkle? That is a smooth DSC. I don't care what anybody says. I think that's gonna do it for today. I'm thoroughly pleased. Like I said I I did swap out the ESC, so you know that helped with being smooth on the throttle and better drag brake. Uh, I did cut the uh, trailing arm mounts off, but that was just a ground clearance thing. So literally the only thing I did suspension wise between the last video and this video is I'll be able to show it. I'll have a picture of it I can put in somewhere. But just a link riser. And that just made all the difference in the world, especially on hard line. I'm going to get back to the garage, continue working on uh, this rig's actual body, and uh, see what else I can do to improve this thing before uh, Beat the Creek next weekend. So, hope you all enjoyed. I know I definitely did. Very happy with this rig. 
And uh, yeah, hope y'all have a good one. Uh, take care. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Later. Bye. Are you the one that's been knocking my goat over? You better leave Dingleberry alone. <laughs>